Hello guys, it's Alon over 20 here, and I'm back with another episode of Mini Redstone Tutorials. Today we're going to be taking a look at this little contraption right here. This is what's known as a sorting cell. Um, there are a lot of designs out there for sorting cells. I'm just telling you a basic one. There are ones that you can t uh, put them right next to each other and everything. Uh, there, yeah, there's pretty cool designs out there. And yeah, this is I this is uh, by far my favorite design. It's oh whoops. It's very simple, so let's uh, let's get start. Uh, let let me just show you how it works. As you can see, the sorting cell right here is programmed for redstone. So if we put in uh, just uh, 16 iron blocks, and we'll put in 16 redstone. As you can see, the iron blocks will all end up right over here. So as you can see, 16 iron blocks, and the redstone will end up down here. So yeah, um, let's get started with how to build. Okay, guys, to, to build the actual cell is pretty easy. You just want to make a plus shape like this and then just add a block right here where your hopper is going to be. You put down a comparator with two uh, redstone dusts. Uh, they are there. There's just a problem with the snapshot that blocks aren't updating. I am on 29B. So, yeah, we put a redstone torch right here. Now, you're going to need a filter hopper facing your comparator. It doesn't need to be facing your comparator. It just uh, it it can also be facing down. And then you need another hopper right here, which this hopper will hold one item, and it will just be going into the where you want that item to go. So let's just put a chest right here. And to to get like to use usually to get like the items over here, you're going to want to place hoppers in the following way, like that. As you can see, yeah, blocks aren't updating. So yeah, like that. And then the items will pass over unless they are something that is programmed here, in which case they'll go down. And to program it, what you need to do is you got to put your the item that you want to filter in the first slot. Then you got to use another item that will never be going through here. So I can use dragon eggs like this. And then you're going to want to put 18 items in the last slot. And there you go. Now this is a fully functional time uh, thing. So as you can see, if you put a chest here, we'll put in here maybe eight redstone, and we're gonna put in eleven dragon eggs. Now the redstone will go down here. Oh, what's wrong? Why is it not working? Um, I don't know. Something here just glitched out. That's really weird. Let's try that again. Something here just glitched out. So we're gonna put in eight redstone right here. It should end up down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and yeah, the last one stays in here. And now we're going to want to put in. Let's get six dragon eggs. Now they should go over here. No. Oh wait, yeah. Puh. The dragon eggs fit in here. Wow. Whoops. Fail. Yeah. That's the thing. If your items ever show up in here, it'll mess up like that. So let's put in again. We're going to put in eight, uh, ten redstone. Sure. And now, as you can see, the redstone will end up down here. And we, if we put in iron blocks they'll end up over here so yeah that worked now next how it works okay so how it works first of all it is using the comparator which is the most important aspect of this sorting cell a compar comparator based on the amount of items inside of the inventory and the size of the inventory will output a different uh, signal strength so right now there are one two three four twenty two items in this hopper so it outputs one redstone strength as soon as one more item goes in here 23 then the strength becomes too strong which turns on this uh, repeater which turns off this torch which lets an I the item go through and as soon as the item goes through this torch turns back on because this, this is off because signal strength is not strong enough so as soon as you have another one uh, item come in watch this torch right here if you have another item it turns off then it turns back on because it goes over and then it goes down. So let's do that again. Look at this. Look right over here. Uh, I point with my real hand. You see, it turns on, then back off as soon as it goes away. Again, on, back off. So yeah, and the reason right there that before that was, didn't work is I put in a dragon egg, which went like, I don't know where the dragon egg would go. Let's just really quickly see. It, would, it goes right here, and which gets the redstone out because now it's still at 22 items. So yeah, that's why that didn't work in the beginning there. So yeah, that was kind of a fail, but yeah, that's how it works. Next, practical uses. 
So for practical uses, I'm here on GSO Craft, my SMP, uh, not my SMP, that's the PC server I play on. And as you can see, it's, it's practical uses is what it is. It's a sorting cell. It is used for sorting. So as you can see, I have a mob farm over here, which is uh, dropping a lot of items. And I'm using these guys to sort. As you can see, I have hoppers going above. And then over here, you can see it went up to 19, then went back down. I'm using soup on a stick, which is just a bowl. And it's not soup on a stick yet. It's just uh, empty. And yeah, it's just being sorted out. You see, this is the design right here. Uh, so here's the plus shape and the comparator and the, yeah, so comparator and the repeater and everything. So yeah, that's the practical use. And it is very, very useful. As you can see, I have all my items sorted out very, very well. So yeah, that that's it for this episode of Mini Redstone Tutorials. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.